One, two, three. One, two, three. What is up, guys? Ryan Future here. Welcome to some Minecraft PS3. And we are going to be creating a WWE arena in Minecraft for PS3. We're going to load up our creative world that we have made in advance. And we're going to get started. If you haven't seen me make a few arenas before, I've posted one or two on my channel before from the PC edition of Minecraft, which I played all the time. Very familiar with Minecraft. I already know what my idea for making this arena is going to be, but I'm kind of just going to wing it as I go along for designs and such. I'm not really 100% on what I'm going to do, but I'll make something. Okay, so first of all, we have where our main ring is going to be. First things first, we have to finish said ring. After that, we are going to lay the outside barrier around. So I'm going to get out some fence posts and everything and do all that. That'll probably be our first episode, and then our second episode, we'll get... I'll probably have more people in here eventually. DRS will probably help out, and we'll get a bunch of stuff going. But uh, for now, it's just going to be me talking. Eventually, though, like I said, I'll get some friends in here, and we'll be having... Good conversations and everything in here. Talking about making set arena. We're gonna make it red down here first. We can always change this color later. Changing other colors fairly simple. You just obviously go around and replace all the red wool with I don't know green or black or something, but it doesn't really matter. Then you can take some stone or some wool. It doesn't really matter. Whatever you think looks best for the inside. Sometimes I'll go with like snow or something, put it on top, like, or just put snow blocks, but it's a little tough on super flat because there's really like no snow biome, so everything's gonna melt. Or it just looks weird sometimes, but I like the stone, just, I don't know. It looks decent enough to be a ring. So there we go, and we can go with that. The thing is, though, you have to, uh, if you want it to be accessible, in fact, actually, we're going to change this. We're going to go like that. Oh, sh eh, whatever, I have to change that anyways. But for this to be accessible from the outside, you have to, uh, and easily accessible from the outside, you need to put fence posts that are different so you need the nether brick one and then the regular fence post uh, different at the corners or you can leave an opening I guess on the side with like a gate or something but that to me just makes it too difficult so here you can just kinda go right through there but you can still also in fact uh, we normally put this right here so then you can get up here, and we also put it right... Slime, go away. Slime. Slime. Just go away. You're not needed here. You're just annoying. You can also do this in survival, but it would be much, much more difficult. Just because of the fact that you don't have all the materials available, obviously. I'll just let those little suckers bounce around out there. I'll just pick up all this. I'll get rid of it if I need to later. But, uh, and then my... From what I've determined, the best distance for this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then this one will be where the fence post goes to block off the crowd from the ring. And after that, you just start putting seats there. But the main thing that... We're not going to put any seats there yet. We're just going to determine... Where are like the dimensions of everything and where everything's gonna go? And if you uh decide later, I'd prefer uh, it's easier to go through and decide all the colors beforehand, but if you don't know exactly, it, it is possible to go through and change all this, just it will take a lot of time to do. But uh, if you think that'll look better, I would consider thinking about it first. But. Okay, well, if I do light gray instead of dark gray, will it look better or no? Or will it match the ring too much? But I was going to go with black, but when I tried black before, just in like a little test run, it didn't look right. It looked too dark. Like, I couldn't tell what was what. 
One, two, three, four, five, six. And I don't know what it. I don't really know how to explain it well, but it just didn't look right. And then the way you want to make these match up is just do what I did there. Just match them up like this or whatever, and then put fence posts around there, and then fill the rest in. If anything, you can just make the outline first, and then go back and fill it in later. If you're a little short on time, or it's always easier when you have more people because you can assign different duties to each person, and then they can just go ahead and do whatever. Like you can have one person working on the stage, and speaking of stage, we have to determine which way is going to go which. Uh, I'm thinking about making the stage go off this way due to the fact that we have a little bit less room over there, but we won't be, but we'll have enough room, and it just space is going to get tight on here eventually with a creative, but we'll work it out. Everyone's going to have their different projects going here, probably, and creative. We have a survival, but we might restart survival when DRS gets the game for Minecraft. Because he's getting it for Christmas, and as of this recording, it is the 23rd, so in two days he will have the game. Hopefully. And it is starting to get dark, so we're going to put down a bed and uh, sleep at night. Well, fuck you too, game. Okay, let's see. From here we go out. One, two, three, four, five, six. Fence post there to remind ourselves. Uh, let's finish this off right here. Shoot. Ah, it's not, that's not wool. Also, you might notice that I have my gamma up really high. It's at like 75. It comes to faultly at 80. Or not 80, 50. So it might look a little uh, weird. Like it might look a little like colors will, aren't as crisp and bright as they should be. But that's just because I, in survival mode, I like to be able to see at night because I don't like to stop working a lot of times. But now it is night, and there we go. We're going to sleep. Oh, I'm falling asleep. Oh, hey, look, it's daytime. Yay! Back to working time. Boom, 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 boom. See how it lines up there. Okay, perfect. That slime's freaking back. I'm going to murder it in a minute. Why is this not set to peaceful? I thought I set to peaceful. And, uh... This is the... This is a fairly boring thing to do. Is the beginning. Also, mostly because you don't have ideas in your head. But, like I said, more friends equals a better time doing this. It'll take... A lot less time and you'll be able to have some laughs while doing it hopefully right now I'm just doing this by myself it is boring as hell but you know I feel like doing it so I'm gonna go through with it and uh, as you saw I actually went offline for this because I don't want people entering the game midway through and ruining everything and uh, you can replace the blocks under these it doesn't really matter it's just all preference if you want it to be perfect you can go through and lay the whole floor down first and then come back and put a ring on it if you like it you should put a ring on it if you don't like it well then destroy it and start over and uh, I'm deciding right now what material I should do for the outside floor not really sure just yet but so far like I said very basic ring and floor layout we'll get more advanced in the future maybe two three four five six I believe yeah, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, it gets good enough. And uh, if you guys are new to the channel and haven't been here before, you're here for the WWE ring. Uh, I do a lot of WWE 2K14 games and or different matches and stuff like that. I put on a few different simulation shows like uh, MWA. And DWE are my two main ones as of right now. We have a CPV paper or a pay-per-view basically coming up. 
pretty soon. It's called UZW One Night Only. It will be a fairly good show. If you haven't seen the show, please go watch it. Just let me know your honest opinion about it then. It's up on Ryan Future Mech is my other channel. That is Ryan Future Mech. And uh, also, if you like this kind of stuff, you can like and subscribe and let me know to make more of this because I sometimes will stop a series midway through if not enough people are watching it. Like if I'm only getting 20 views for something, but something else is getting double that or not double that, it's 40 views. Something's getting consistently a thousand views every time I put it up. I'll make more of that, but I might stop making the other one because I won't have enough time to make it. There's a concept that I don't think a lot of people actually understand. Is something that goes through a lot of YouTubers' heads. They think that they just make a lot of just random shit and put it up. But that is not the case for a lot of us. And by us, I mean mostly like the smaller YouTubers. We actually do think out a lot of times what we're going to do. Slime, go away! And we usually try to act on that. And the toughest part is, though, is, like, getting friends involved. Because sometimes playing with friends makes things just so much easier. I, I just realized I'm probably going to trap the slime in here. Well, going to have to murder it then. But getting friends in here makes things just so much easier. Having friends to go with also encourages you to make more content. And it just is more fun to make everything then. And uh, as you can see here, uh, almost completely done. You're going to want to put... In my opinion, the best way this will look is if you go on the corner, on just two two of the corners. But then you could also put like that and like that because people can still get in the ring. It just won't be as easy. But these are like the steps or the steel steps or whatever. Yeah, the slime's going to have to die. Okay, well, they're on the outside. Hopefully, they'll be fine. Oh, this little guy's stuck in here. Oh, well, he's dead now. Okay, so next step. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. What I normally do is I go three in and boom. Remove one, two, three, four. That, that there will be your entrance ramp. And that will probably be another video because entrance ramps are hard as shit. And they can, I usually end up redoing them three or four different times. And I would like, when I do this, to have someone here with me to actually give me some critique. And we can have more than one opinion on it. Because otherwise, I won't know where to start with it. Because I don't know how far I should make the stage yet. I don't know how long it will look good. I don't even know how big I want to actually make this thing. I don't know if I want to make a little indie arena where this ramp is like two two blocks long. And right there it is. Or if I want to make a big, huge WrestleMania-style arena where it'll be 20 blocks long and we'll have, the, we'll have John Cena run down. And uh, speaking of... If you can't tell, I am an uh, Eskimo. Because Eskimos are just that awesome. But that's pretty much all I got for this video, guys. Uh, I'll definitely have a lot more coming because of the fact that DRS will be getting the game and he... He's pretty much my one other wrestling person guy that I play Minecraft with. Or I will play Minecraft with. And he can definitely help me out with this build. And uh, I might work on the outside here, like the uh, floor itself. And I might get some dimensions done while I'm not recording. But besides that, I mean, you guys really won't miss much. And this really is kind of the boring stuff. You'll see more exciting stuff later. Pretty successful video, I must say myself. And uh, oh, over there you can kind of see in the background I'm working on a uh, racetrack. A, uh, I'll, I'll work more on that eventually. Re I really hope... I don't think this stuff will run into each other. If it does, well then, fuck me. I'll just fill up the racetrack and redo that. But, uh, again... <laughs> uh, I'm going to run the ropes. Uh... Gotta go into it sideways. Close line. Oh. See you guys.